do you want to turn YouTube videos into blog posts at scale without the manual work of having to write all of them or having to pay a lot for a service that does that for you? Perfect. Watch what happens when I drop this YouTube URL into my make.com automation system. I simply take my YouTube video URL, paste it into my Airtable, select generate blog post, and my make automation takes the transcript from the video and the description and title and turns it into a fully functioning blog post. It even posts it to my WordPress site. Check out how good that looks. In just under two minutes, this YouTube video transformed into a fully formatted WordPress blog post. You can add to this blog post with custom research and your own affiliate links. And it's even SEO optimized so that it generates income while I sleep. And the total cost of this whole system, it only costs one to five cents per blog post. To put that in perspective, most creators pay $50 monthly for similar service, but those services have limited customization. So I wanted to build a system that does it for pennies and I want to have complete control over every aspect of the content that I'm creating. I've built hundreds of AI automation systems for startups and small companies. And today I'm going to show you every single step of my YouTube to blog profit machine. I'm using make.com and Claude for the content generation. And I'm even showing you the exact system prompt that I'm using to generate these articles. There are also three critical elements most people get wrong when building this type of automation. And I'll show you how to avoid these pitfalls and how to set up the system so that you can monetize it later on. I'm also going to show you the exact prompt that I'm using in order to make this blog post sound like it's written by a human. And I'm also showing you the hidden settings that I'm using in make.com to include the affiliate links within the blog posts. So this is how it works. You insert your YouTube URL into an Airtable. Then you select a certain status and the status is either to generate the blog post or that it's already generated. If it's already generated, the system does nothing. And if you select the status generate blog post, it will start the automation. The first module then gets the YouTube thumbnail and description as well as the whole transcript in order to use it for analysis in order to turn it into a blog post. After that, I'm using Anthropic's AI model in order to turn this into a blog post, create the meta description, create the title and create an SEO friendly URL for my website. Next, I'm uploading this media to the WordPress site and creating the blog post there. I'm also updating the URL as well as the meta description and the title. And lastly, I'm updating this on my Airtable in order to keep track of what articles I've already generated. Now, before I show you how to build this step-by-step, -step, let me reveal the three critical mistakes that most people make when setting up these automations. Understanding these will really help you save hours of frustration and dramatically improve your results. The first most common mistake is not providing enough context to the AI. If you don't add enough information for the AI, it cannot generate a blog post. So if you don't give it enough context, it might generate poorly written blog posts. In order to create a really good system prompt, you should also give it the right structure, tone, and style of what you want to create. And I will show you exactly what my system prompt looks like in just a minute. The second most common mistake is failing to iterate on your system prompt. If you generate a poorly written article and you hit regenerate and you get the same result, that is kind of your fault. You need to iterate on your system prompts in order to get better quality output. Every single time you run into a pitfall and you change something in the system prompt and it delivers better value, save that for later and you can reuse that in different prompting scenarios. And the third mistake that most people make is building overly complex automations. It is not about having as many nodes as possible. It's really about the output. So if you can do that with less operations, that is better than doing it with more operations. And in the end, what matters is saving yourself time. So if you need to take 10 hours to build a system that saves you five hours, that's a bad use of time. In the end, less is more. And I'll show you that with my simple system right now. Let's get to it. And before I show you each individual step of how the system was built. Let me first show you how it works and each individual step that I'm doing in order to turn a video into a blog post. This is my YouTube channel page. And every single time I post a video, for example, this video was posted two days ago, I click onto it and I select the link. I love creating blog posts out of my YouTube videos because I've already put so much work and effort into researching all of the topics. I also want to showcase them on my website to increase my SEO and leverage the work that I've already done. So now I simply click on this video link and insert it on in a new row here in my Airtable. I paste it in there and it automatically selects generate blog post here. I could add my additional resources that I created while scripting the video, but I'm gonna skip it right now just for simplicity of this video. After that, I'm including affiliate links. This is a video about 11 laps, so I'm creating my affiliate links for 11 laps in this blog post as well. I'm keeping the blog post title and everything else blank. I'm letting my AI do its thing. Now I go back to my automation and I simply click run once. 
It now looks into my Airtable and it found that this one had the generate blog post tag. So because of that, it is running the URL that I gave it, this one. It's running the URL through Appify in order to get the transcript. I'm using Appify for this and it's only using about half a cent or maybe one cent per uh, run. So it's really, really cheap to use this specific API. Let's go back to it. And after it gets the transcript, it also gets the thumbnail and the description of my video, as well as the title. And you can see here, all of that has been requested. It got all of that information right here. Now that all of this information is taken from my YouTube channel, it has the transcript, it has the description and the thumbnail, as well as the, the title. It is all fed into my blog post generating GPT. This is a custom prompt that I gave it with all of the information of the YouTube video, what the topic is about, how I want the YouTube video to be structured. And it is creating a very, very comprehensive long blog post that is very helpful. And it doesn't sound like it's generated by AI. This takes a little bit longer, about uh, 20 seconds or so. And as we can see here, the output is the whole blog post already. It is giving us the meta description, the headline, and then the custom URL. And it even uploaded it already to WordPress. The WordPress ID is, this is the file that it uploaded. And then this is the post right here. The title is that, and I can find it at this specific slug. The post ID is this. And in, if you wanna check it out before you post it, you can go over to your WordPress site, go over to your WordPress site, go to posts, and the top one should be the one we just generated. How to generate passive income by translating videos with AI dubbing tools. That is a really good headline. Let me click on it. And here we have it. How to generate passive income by translating videos with dubbing tools. And here we have the intro paragraph. Here we have the video that is embedded. And then it has the exact format that I wanted with H2s and H3s with my own affiliate links right here. Create your own account and it has more specific information in a nicely formatted way. If we want to publish it, we can simply either save the draft or click straight publish. I wanna make sure to proofread it before I really publish it. And you should always do the same too. We can see the media ID here. This is the thumbnail of my YouTube video and it's now integrated onto my blog post. It has a good title. It has the video embedded. And let's see if the affiliate link is working as well. Create an account, let's click on that and it is using my affiliate link right here and it will continue to destination and it worked really well. Wow, wonderful. But the only thing that we got here is an error and that has to do with the way that we updated this field here. And that's just the way that we are, we're selecting this field right now as it was trying to update it. So because of that, it didn't let us update that field but that is not an issue because we saw that the blog post is ready to be posted. If we go back to the post and we want it to be posted, we can simply click publish and now it is on the internet for everyone to see. And I'm gonna go back and edit this to make sure that there's no spelling mistakes or that there's anything wrong with it. But for the purpose of this, we can now simply go to this URL that is also an SEO optimized slug right there. Awesome, that's how it works. But let me show you now exactly how it's built in make.com. I'm using Airtable for this. It's like Google Sheets, but a little bit more powerful and you can sign up for this tool for free. You can use the link in the description and I'm also using the completely free plan. The columns that I'm using here are in order to keep track of the information that I'm creating or storing. So one of them is a unique auto number. The second one is the YouTube URL, which is really the input. The second one, is the status and I have three different statuses here. Generate blog post, blog post generated and blog post skipped. And these are select fields in order to keep track of which blog posts are generated and for my automation to know which sections to work on. I'm having an optional field here called additional resources and I'm integrating that later. You'll I'll show you how. I'm having a field for affiliate links where I can insert my affiliate links if I want them to be integrated into the blog post. I'm creating a title a meta description and a WordPress post URL. And I'm adding additional notes and assignees, but these are not used in my automation. And that already brings us to our make.com automation. Make.com works pretty simply. Make.com is fairly straightforward. It works by having a certain trigger. In this case, you can just use the run once trigger, and then it looks up all of your Airtable automation. And it then gets all of the YouTube information that I'm requesting through Appify. I'll show you that in a second. It manipulates the data and writes the blog post with Claude. I'll show you that in a second as well and then it uploads the content to WordPress right here. So without further ado, let's get right to it. I'm using Appify here and Appify gives you, if you use the link in the description, it gives you $5 for usage per month and as you can see here, it uses very little money. So I really like using their API for my make.com automations. You simply add this note on Appify called request a transcript and I have a certain actor here. I have my input, Jason, and that is connecting me then 
And the actor is this actor right here, the YouTube transcript ninja. This is helping me scrape YouTube descriptions and transcripts. I'm using the same one right here. I'm using then this input here from Appify called get transcript. And uh, I'm selecting the data set ID that I have created in the first node. Next, I'm getting the requested thumbnail and description. And I'm using the streamers forward slash YouTube scraper actor. And I've selected the URL as the input from my Airtable field. Lastly, with Appify, I'm using the get thumbnail and description set here in order to transform the data and get the data set items. Now, once you run this here, you can see exactly how the output and input looks like. The input is exactly this, and then the output is all of that. And you can select each individual item here later on in the automation, as you will see in just a second. And that's the Appify section of this workflow. The most exciting thing is coming now, and that is our system prompt. I'm using Anthropic, it's like ChatGPT, except it's a little bit better for writing in my opinion, and I'm using Claude Sonnet 3.7. In order to use this, you need to sign up for Anthropic's uh, developer console and fund it with a few tokens. I've added $10 to this account and I've barely used $4 in the last month of heavily using this unless you're writing extremely complex workflows with a lot of API tokens, this will barely cost you anything. And we will get to how much it costs to run this whole workflow in just a second. So once you've set up your Anthropic account, you can connect to it via your make.com automation by adding a new Anthropic node. And I've created the create a prompt node here and I've selected the latest um, model here from Claude with the max token set to 5,000 in order to create a very long blog post. And then this messages here are the first one is uh, uh, the role is user and then the content is type text and then the text that I'm generating is my whole system prompt. And I'll go through it right here without reading it because then we would be here for the next five minutes and you can take screenshots and you reuse it for your own system if you want. The key point here is to use as much information as possible and tell it exactly how you want it to be generated. In my case, I'm using an HTML format in order to easily transport it over to my WordPress connection. I'm telling it exactly how to format it in order to be SEO optimized. And I'm telling it exactly how I want things to happen. For example, if the description contains links, include them naturally within the text with HTML A tags, with a natural anchor tags with a maximum of one to five words each and so on and so forth. And I've experimented with this a lot and and this prompt is giving me really good results. So I'm sticking with this for now. I'm even adding exactly how I want things to be formatted and giving it instructions to be NLP friendly. And later on, I give it some other writing instructions as well. This section in particular is interesting because it tells it to include the YouTube URL from our Airtable to include it as a video link. So once we go back here, we see that there is the whole YouTube video that is playable. And that is because of that part of the automation right here. I give it further instructions here and let me share with you the context that I'm giving it. Right here, I'm giving it the context to say, do not make up any facts or information about the topic. And then I'm giving it the YouTube video captions. So I'm giving it the exact transcript from the third module that we have right here. I'm giving it the transcript that was generated right here. This is the entire transcript of the video. So I'm feeding that into my model right here. I'm also giving it the YouTube descriptions as well as the description links. And I'm also now including an if statement that if there is something in the additional resources section right here or in the affiliate section, I want it to be included in a certain way. So you can see here, if there are additional resources, then it should uh, include them by saying, here's additional resources research that were used to create this video and should be taken into consideration when writing this article. And I'm similarly doing that with the affiliate links. So if affiliate links are present, in the Airtable, then I'm telling Claude, here are affiliate links to resources that I want to recommend or organically bring up in the article. And then I'm linking them right here. So this is how you get affiliate links within your content generation. I want to hit save. And then the other three modules here are just to create a meta description. So I created a, a long description here to write a really good meta description that is max 135 characters so that it shows up properly on Google. And the last point here is important. Always say, present your results without anything else except the meta description, just so that it doesn't first like start summarizing it or write anything except the meta description, because we only want that to show up. I'm doing the same with the title and headline. So I only wanted to return the title, um, except the title. And then I'm doing the same thing with the URL slug that is for 
SEO optimization. I'm even giving an, an example of how I want it to be formatted so that it shows up perfectly as a slug on my website. After this, I'm doing an HTTP request in order to get the thumbnail URL. And I'm then creating a media item in order to upload this thumbnail to WordPress. I'm doing that right here and I'm naming it in a specific way in order to use it then later on in my post. So as you can see here, the title is pulled from my title section. The content is my whole blog post generation from right here. The type that I used here is it's a post, it's a blog post rather than a web page. And the excerpt is my meta description that I generated in this 20th uh, module right here. I'm leaving the date blank and I'm adding the slug from uh, module number 21 here where I created the URL. I'm leaving the status format and parent object ID blank. And if I know that a lot of my content is uh, a certain category, I could implement this here in my WordPress. But as you remember, the third tip is really to keep it simple and I'm just not keeping these categorized. Last thing that I'm including is the featured media ID. And this is what we uploaded here with the HTTP request. We are doing this in order to get this image showing up at the top of our web page as our featured image. The last thing we're doing here is uh, we're getting a post and that is just the post post ID in order to then uh, update it in our Airtable. In our Airtable, we are updating the title. So we're going to select the uh, text coming up here. The URL is going to be coming from here. And we're going to update the status to blog post generated. And let's save that right here. All right, that is this system that we're using. I'm gonna hit save and yeah. Awesome, that's exactly how you build this system. You now have two options. You can either follow every step in this video and I showed you exactly how I created all of the prompts and all of the different sections and you can put them together yourself if you want to or you can get my ready to use blueprint package in the description. You can just download it and you can import it into your make.com automation system and insert your own API keys. You can implement this within 15 to 20 minutes and have the system running for you for as little as one to five cents per blog post. Either way, you're just moments away from turning YouTube videos into an automated blog empire that generates content and income while you focus on what really matters most, and that is creating new content and new insights. If this tutorial saved you time or you learned something new, hit that like button and subscribe for more automation systems that create both time and financial freedom. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.